Hello everybody, my name is Cody and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Redstone House tutorial series. In this episode we are going to be building this little gadget right here which is a semi-automatic melon slash pumpkin farmer harvester thing. So when you hit this button here, all your melons or pumpkins come floating down into this chest. See? There they are. So without further ado, let's get to work. Okay, so here we are in our little farmhouse harvesting area thing. We're going to be building this melon contraption right in the corner here. So what we're going to need for the first part of this tutorial, uh, we're going to need some dirt, need some glass, um, we're going to need sticky pistons, hopper, and chest, redstone, redstone torch, and a button. That's just for the first part here. Um, okay, so from the corner here, I'm going to go nine blocks and place a chest, actually a double chest. And going into that chest, I'm going to place a hopper. And then beside the hopper here, I'm going to place a row of glass, one to the right of it as well. Okay, leg, it's all okay. There we go. Wow, leg. Calm down. Calm down. There we go. Place another row here. And then on top of this row, we're going to place another row of glass. This doesn't have to be glass, but I'm using glass. Because you can see through it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this little track here is where the melons are going to flow down into this hopper, into this chest. So on top of this second row of grass, we're going to place a layer of dirt, which is going to be where our melons are growing. And one thing you might want to keep in mind is Minecraftia law states that melons or pumpkins both need one space of air above them in order for them to grow. That's okay. So in on the same level that this dirt is on, which is this level here, we're going to dig back one, actually two, and then we're going to place our sticky pistons in a row along there. And then some dirt on those sticky pistons. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to wire these sticky pistons up, so I'm going to need to change out this dirt for stone. I'm going to put a row of stone on top of these sticky pistons. Before the last one, oh, before it, I'm going to place a redstone torch. It should engage the first one and then just a row of redstone along the rest of them. There we go. So that is going to be where our melons grow. Um, so for the next thing we're going to want the contraption that basically crushes these melons and sends them along. So you're going to want to go up uh, two above it, I think. Yeah. And then place sticky pistons facing downwards along. I think that's right, yep. Okay. And then on those you want to place a solid block. I'm going to use stone.
And this is what's gonna the thing that's gonna crush the melons. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna wanna wire those up. And to do that, we're just gonna take the same circuit from this redstone, feed it up. Um And then, actually what we're going to want to do here, so I'm going to come up one more, or two more, because we're going to want to place another torch to invert that signal, so they are opposites. So put a torch there, that torch should be off, which is good. Redstone beside it. And then feed that up to the sticky pistons there we go it's okay leg it's okay actually I don't want to go beside that other stuff so we'll go right there oh, oh yeah actually what we could do instead is just put a row of stone right beside it should do and then roll redstone on that stone oh those are gonna canoodle so we don't want that there we go right across and that should do the trick so I'm just gonna test this out so we're gonna delete this torch and those sticky pist pistons should engage. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a button somewhere. So, from in behind this redstone, we're going to go down, feed it down into the building. Right about... So that's going to be the roof level. We'll go one below the roof level right here. That. Punch back in here. Put a button on that. Oh, this one. There we go. So that's basically it. The next thing you want to do is plant your melons. What I'm gonna do here is take this out. So your melons are gonna be planted on this row here. So you wanna till that soil, plant your melons. When they have grown, hit the button and it'll all flow down once we put water in there, which you should probably do. Where's water? There's water. Okay. So, in behind, where is the in behind? I'm gonna punch a hole there. Just for reference, this one. Put it right on that first glass spot there. Close that up. It's going to take out that other crap, but that's okay. And there you have it. So once the melons are crushed, it'll flow into this hopper and into the chest. And that is it for this tutorial. The rest is up to you just to cover this up. What I would suggest before I close, finish up, is get some glowstone and put it about here. Right in behind where the melons, excuse me, where it'll be growing. Just to give them a little bit of extra light. And then just keep in mind that they need a space above. I would knock that one out too. And then you can see your melons growing. And that is it. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please like, subscribe to my channel for more excellent videos. In the next 
episode we are going to be working on the 3x3 three three spiraling door which will be lots of fun. So that is it. Have a good day and goodbye.